to action! <laughs> you know, in all my years of animating League of Legends, it's been about five years now, I've not once animated Olaf, I don't think, and the first drawing I do of him, which is this, his beard somehow looks like a chicken nugget and I can't unsee it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to League of Legends Animated Champion Spotlight for Olaf! The stereotype! That's right guys, there's a reason why it's taken me five years to animate Olaf, it's because I've been putting it off in the hopes that he's gonna get a rework, but it just hasn't come along yet. He's okay, he is fun to play, but his kit is a little bit stale, and graphically... There's a lot of similarity to what I can say this week about Olaf, considering in my recent Trindamir video I could draw a lot of parallels, such as... Olaf is a top laner. He is an auto attack based piss bitch who throws his shit around in the thirst for battle like it's the end time. In fact, you know what? Pause this video, go watch my Trindamir video that I released just before this one, then come back. Right, okay, remember everything I just said about Trindamir? Well, Olaf is kind of the same, except he focuses more on champions than beating the shit out of towers instead. I mean, he can beat the shit out of towers, sure, but that's, you know, it, it is about champions. It's about champions. Why? Well, we'll get onto that bit in just a sec but I have to get through my obligatory lore section, so... <clears throat> in the lore, uh, Olaf thirsts for battle or some shit. He is from uh, the Freljord, a place called Lokfar, that apparently in the lore they're a bunch of crackheads and they're all thirsty for battle. Uh, you know, uh, just north of Damasia, actually, they're a bunch of crackheads too. You know, I think Rune Terror in general is just filled with crackheads. Olaf thirsts for battle, and the thing is, he's actually quite good at it. Olaf's passive is nice and plain and simple, just like all the old characters in the game that don't have complicated kits, unlike the new characters, okay? Olaf's passive is this. The lower his health, the faster his attack speed. If you end up in a 1v1 situation with Olaf, just know that as his health gets lower, he's gonna start hitting you faster and faster, and you'll see why when we go through the rest of the kit that it's a problem for you. First of all, plain and simple, Olaf has a Q skill shot that throws a, a, an axe. He just throws an axe and that's it, and when it hits you, it slows you a bit, deals a bit of damage, and it sticks in the ground. If you run and pick it up again, your cooldown is reduced, and you can get back to throwing it again in no time. His W works so well with that. When you press W, you get bonus attack speed anyway on top of the bonus attack speed you've got from the missing health, which is double bonus attack speed, and also built-in life steal, okay? So you got built-in life steal for free, bonus attack speed on top of bonus attack speed on top of Olaf summons a lightning bolt that deals true damage. That's right, it ignores all your defense, armor, magic, resist, the whole lot. You're a Viking, you've got lightning, you've got attack speed, man, shut up. So now you're probably thinking, oh, but Kiandi, if he hits truly auto attack base, then surely you can use any crowd control like a stun and problem solved. Except for the fact his ultimate is a giant fuck off cleanse. Olaf gains bonus armor and bonus magic resist whilst Ragnarok is active. Yes, it's uh, imaginatively called Ragnarok, of course. Bearing in mind, this champion is 10 years old and, you know, could do with a lot of lore rewrites. Anyway, yeah. Olaf cleanses himself of all the bullshit crowd control, gets a load of defenses, and for the next six seconds is immune to stuns, is immune to silence, is immune to any crowd control, runs in like a psychopath, combines with the W for your bonus attack speed on top of your missing health, bonus attack speed on top of the bonus life steal okay you also get bonus movement speed when you're running towards enemies you literally go berserker mode how do you counter that which is uncounterable uh well actually there is a few counters actually oh shut up so yeah just think trindamir but for hitting champions instead of towers he is an unstoppable force kind of like all the other champions that i describe as unstoppable forces hey i guess that's just top lane for you so what do we build key bearded minstrel well i guess unimaginatively you have assumed i'm going to offer a build based around uh, lifesteal and ad and attack speed because of his kit that gives for lifesteal and attack speed <laughs> but in actual fact here is my build take it or leave it bye <laughs> Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly had a lot of fun animating it on stream with you guys. Thank you for your input into the final design. If you want to hang out with me on stream, I stream almost every day. I'm animating on stream. I'm playing games on stream with you guys. Fan game. Come on, links in the description. I'll see you guys there. Mwah.